humans welcome to this video I just thought I'd give a quick intro I'm gonna show you my ideation phase of coming up with some designs for my tie-dye shirts this is for the, for the first launch of my small business I'm in my pajamas about to get into bed and I'm just like going crazy working coming up with designs so excuse the outfit but I just thought I'd share some of my design process and behind the scenes of trying to get everything together before launch. So I started off with doing some research on some competitors in my niche um, just to see how they listed their products and what they included and what they didn't include. I thought that would just give me some insight because I've started listing some of my items on my website already. Um, and then went ahead and plugged in my Cricut. I had a few designs in store that I already wanted to use. Um, this is one of them. It's called, well, it just says easily distracted by dogs. I changed some of the little uh, dog icons to these little cute dogs with their tails that make a heart because I thought it was super cute. I thought about using that bluey pink shirt to start off with. Um, I thought it could work white with a white vinyl. So I started by cutting the vinyl, put it onto my Cricut mat, and then obviously got the design ready to go on the Cricut machine. I always like to hold the mat initially before it goes into the Cricut machine because sometimes it doesn't load properly and then the whole design can be off center. Um, so yeah, I always make sure I do that. I pulled the machine a bit forward because my desk is quite narrow and obviously I need some space behind the back. So this vinyl is actually so nice. It's so easy to pull off the plastic. You you know, with some vinyls you have to be really careful. Like with this red puff vinyl I use, I have to be quite careful. Um, but with this one it's really strong so it's quite cool um, so after I peeled it off I was ready to lay, up, up, lay it up on my shirt I just needed to first uh, weave out the little dog little dog icons or dog images to go on the front I was quite excited to see how this new the, the little dogs with the tails looked on the front after laying up the shirt and checking how the design would look on it, I just thought the white didn't stand out really well on this like lighty blue background. So I opted to go for a darker shirt, which I dyed. It's this, like pinky purpley color. So I then relayed it up on this shirt and I really, really liked how the white stood out. So I'm glad I changed that up. I then heat pressed it. I got my <laughs> little ruler underneath the heat press and it melted slightly, so don't do that. Um, but I won't make that mistake again. Um, so yeah, then I just heat press it for about 30 seconds. Um, and then I peeled off the plastic to check what the vinyl looked like. And it looked really great, so I was super happy about that. I then flipped the shirt over to do the front side with my little image of the dogs and their tails. Um, I had some trouble deciding exactly where I wanted to put this. I moved it around a few times. But I finally got like the spot that I thought would look quite good and then I heat pressed that for about 30 seconds again. This is just Polly, my little angel, shame she's always watching me in the background which is cute. Um, but yeah, the design came up super lovely. I really loved it. It's just such a vibrant print on this colour so that was really really cool. I'm glad I switched up the colours. I then headed to work on my second print, which I wanted to, after to use this red puffy vinyl. It's really, really nice once it's printed on your shirt. You just have to be quite careful when you weave it out. But I used this new design that I came up with, I actually added it in my archives. It, it, it says socially awkward until I see a dog, which I thought is really cute and really relevant for a lot of people so i cut that out of my cricket and then i decided between i had a few shirts that i thought would work well with the red vinyl but i think the first one i opted for was this purpley one which you'll see now it's like a purpley blue one um but obviously i first weaved out everything it has little flowers um which make up like the holes in the o and everything so it's quite a nice design or style of text font as most people will call it. I then laid it up on this purpley bluey shirt which is like a light lilac -y, you know it's more like a pastel-y looky colour and then he pressed that on. I had to with this sort of print because it's a puffy red vinyl you have to really make sure you've done it properly and so you'll see I move it around a couple times and obviously the print was a bit wider than my heat press so I moved it around make sure everything was 
perfect and then I use this little roller tool to just make sure everything's stuck properly and obviously to cool down the print. I'm not sure if you're supposed to use it for that but it works for me. So then I peeled it off and I love the final look. The red just stood out so well on the shirt as you can see socially awkward until I see a dog which is <laughs> super cute. I then went on to do the front which was this little paw print. Um, so yeah it has the back and then the front with a little paw print which is super lovely. Mine is completely different to all the others. It is the one I found, it's one I found actually on the Cricut Design Space and it's just like dogs, dogs, dogs written all over the back with the red heart. So what I find is this red vinyl works really well with pink shirts. So I thought for this one I could use this red. So yeah, as you can see I'm just heat pressing on that back, the back of the shirt, the dogs, dogs, dogs with the heart in the middle. It's a really, really nice print, so I was quite happy with that. I was just a bit concerned that this didn't go in the center, but once I looked at it in the mirror, it was good. And then I was going to do something on the front, but it was super late. <laughs> so I decided to start packing up, getting everything ready so I could head to bed. Obviously, I'd work in the morning. Um, but yeah, that was my evening, being creative, coming up with my designs, and I got pretty far, so I'm super happy about that. Yeah.